Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you this cute and beautiful um, romantic beret. Uh, also, it's front side this part, but I like it inside uh, more because the puff part is more visible in the back side and it's looking beautiful and I like it very much. I hope you like it. It's so simple. You can do that easily. You can make it bigger. I give all the details in the video, but if you have any questions, please leave me comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time and support. Uh, if you're ready, we can start to crochet our so simple, beautiful beret. Let's start to crochet. I start my beret uh, with this acrylic yarn, but uh, it's not so uh, visible like that. And I want to use this multicolor yarn. Uh, it's equal to, it's not have any information, but uh, it's um, same quality of Nako Wiles. And I use five millimeter hook. Uh, it's uh, size uh, 100 grams is equal to 200 uh, 10 or 40 meters I don't remember uh, but you can look at it it's uh, Nako Wiles and I use 5 millimeter hook this is my berets inside and this is front side but I you can use both sides but I like it inside I hope you like it we start our bed with magic ring if it comes so uh, tough to you, you can start with chain 4 and make a circle. Okay, I make like a circle, grab my yarn, insert in it, 1, 2, 3 chains and count as my first double crochet. I will add here 11 more and I will have to, uh, totally 12 double crochets, yarn over. Insert that circle, grab my yarn, pull through 2, pull through 2 yarn over insert here grab my yarn pull through two pull through two three don't give up these two yarns hold them together three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and the last one twelve now pull that tightly and close that hole then insert your hook top of that first chain three here and grab these two yarns together and lock this circle chain three and count your first double crochet yarn over and insert into the same and make here one more double crochet second round i will make two double crochet in every each stitch at the end of the second round i will have 24 double crochet I will make two double in every each chain one and not count yarn over insert into the same stitch grab my yarn and lose it one yarn over insert into the same grab your yarn two yarn over insert into the same three I have two four six and seven loops pull through all together and locked with chain one chain one more yarn over insert into the next as front post front to back down front grab my yarn pull through to pull through to yarn over come to next stitch and make your puff one two three pull through all together locked with chain one and add one more chain if you 
use different yarn from me for example more thinner you will make your puff uh, more pulling or four or five times or more thicker you can make only to pull your yarn yarn over skip this double come to next double and make one front post yarn over come to next one two three pull through all together locked with chain one at one more chain skip this double crochet come to next double and make one front post double one puff one front post one and two chain skip this double because we make puff stitch on this double come to next double and make front post I complete this round like that after turn to you I come to last stitch yarn over I made my puff and you can see this double for this puff and left here one double and I make here front post double crochet and come to top of my puff join with a slip stitch and now I will make one more slip stitch and come to chain one space this round I will make my puffs chain one space lose my loop yarn over one two three pull through all together one and two chains yarn over I have front post here and make front post on it yarn over come to chain one space one two three pull through chain two yarn over and make front post do the same thing only make your puffs chain one space pull through all together chain two and make front post double crochet come to chain one space make your puff chain two and make front post double crochet complete this round like that after turn two I come to end make my last front post come to top of my puff stitch and join with a slip stitch now we need to make increase but I want to make one more slip stitch and come to always chain one space lose my loop and make my puff one two and three pull through all together and chain two now we increase our front posts and make here two front posts on it one and two then come to chain one space and make my puff chain two and make here two puff one and two come to chain one space one two three pull through all together chain two come to front post make one front post on it then make one more front post on it okay come to chain one make your puff chain two make two front post on the front post one and two complete this round like that make your puffs chain one space make two front posts on the front post increase your front posts I complete after turn to you I change my yarn if I uh, keep crocheting this yarn I couldn't show the patterns beauty with this uh, color I want to use these multicolor and uh, it comes more beautiful I think I will come more lighter uh, part of my yarn and I will show it more easily make one front post and add one more so I made my last increases here come to top of first puffs and join with a here slip stitch and always come to chain one space make one more slip stitch and make your puff one two three 
pull through all together and chain two next two rounds we not make any increases and we will crochet two front post one and next one two yarn over come to chain one space skip this puff and make your puff here one two three pull through chain two make front post make one more front post skip this puff come to chain one one two three pull through chain two two front post here make one front post each one this is the first round after make one more round I will come chain one space again and make my puff then make two front post okay puff chain two two front post this round and make one more round like that after I will turn to you I complete this round you can see time to increase now we increase two front post and crochet two rounds more two front post come to first puff stop and join with a slip stitch skip this puff and make one more slip stitch come to chain one space and make your puff one two three pull through all together and chain two now we have here two uh, front post now make one front post yarn over insert between of them and make usual double crochet and make one more front post I increase here two to three yarn over skip this puff come to chain one space here not make your puffs here okay if you make here not it's twisted skip this puff and come to chain one space and make your puff one two three pull through all together chain two you have two front post insert the first one and make front post yarn over between of them make usual double make your last front post and on the second one so you increase two to three skip this puff come to chain one space and do the same thing make your puff chain two make one front post between of them one usual next one the second front post increase two to three complete this round like that after I will turn to you I come to end join with a slip stitch from the first puff skip this puff and come to chain one space make one more slip stitch and make my puff pull through chain two I have three stitch and I will crochet three front post one two and three yarn over skip this puff come to chain one one two three pull through chain two and make three front post one two three make not any increase complete this round like that uh, next round it needs so we need to increase that okay I complete after turn two and I will show you how you can increase again I complete and turn to you I complete this round and you can see that it needs to increase but if you uh, with your yarn it's not increased you can crochet one more round uh, puff chain two and three front post okay but I need I will uh, increase that come to first puff stop join with a slip stitch make one more slip stitch and come to chain one and make one my puff again chain two I have three now I will increase that three to four make one front post between the first and the second make usual double then make two front post one and two so totally I have here four skip puff come to chain one make my puff chain two make one front post between the first and the second make my usual double 
then make two front posts and make my increase like that I will keep uh, after that I will crochet one round you know puff chain two for front post I will keep increasing like that until my uh, diameter is comes to look at that now 16 centimeter when my diameter is comes to 21 22 centimeter nearly I will show you eight and a half inches I will keep increase that but one round increase one round not increase okay I will uh, keep crocheting like that and make my increase after turn to you how many rounds and uh, how um, much increases I made I will tell you I complete my increases after turn to you I increase that five front post you can see always make my increase first and the second front post between of them and always do that increase five front post and crochet one more round and I um, measure that you can see it's almost nine inches and nearly 22 centimeter it's enough now I'm not make any increases inserting to the top of the first puff join with a slip stitch and make one more slip stitch make my puff chain two I have five front post and crochet five front post one two three four and five skip this puff come to chain one space and make my puff again two three pull through all together chain two and make five front post I will keep crocheting as same as not make any increase nearly I think uh, crochet five rounds like that after I will turn to you and we will degrees our Benny and finish our bed I complete my uh, five rounds nearly I will tell you after turn to you I crochet totally five rounds more without increasing and it's top to end six inches and it's 16 centimeter now we start to degrees and make it rip part join into the first one join with a slip stitch chain one and not count yarn over insert my hook like that my puff stitch and make grab my yarn pull through two yarn over insert into the next front post grab my yarn pull through two I have three loops pull through all together yarn over insert into the next and make back post double crochet then insert into the next grab my yarn pull through two yarn over insert into the next grab my yarn pull through two I have three loops pull through all together three loops I will decrease my front posts crochet back post usual insert the back to front then back and make back post double crochet then come to next puff pull through two come to next pull through two pull through all together and next stitch one back post now crochet two stitch together as front post pull through two next one pull through two pull through all together next one back post crochet two stitch together as front post next stitch back post crochet two stitch together as front post crochet next stitch back post okay I complete after turn two I complete the round finish with back post come to the top of first crochet together front post and join with a slip stitch now chain one and not count again inserting to the first this decreasing stitch as front post 
then back post. So we will crochet one front post, one back post. Okay. I will crochet a few row rounds more. I think nearly five rounds. This is the second one. I complete these five rounds, one front post, one back post after turn two. I complete my Benny. I crochet five rounds, a rip part, one front post, one back post. We decrease front post stitch, you know, after crochet four rounds more and complete five rounds. Uh, that's it. This is front side, but I love its back side. Also, you can use this Benny both sides. Look at that. It's so beautiful. And the puff stitch is more uh, visible when you use the back side. It's both sides usable. Barrett. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me comments and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time and support. You can reach me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Pinterest and on Etsy as the same name crochet with Gigi. Hope to see you in new videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.